Well, the first things of parkour you've got to learn is how to jump a fence. Now, a fence is a good thing to practice on. Make sure you've got a clear run in. You don't want to smash your teeth out. Easy to do. You want to commit. You want to have a strong grip. Focus on your hands. Go, hipster. Come on over. Come here. Come here. You can, do a, you can do a practice one before I... Just, get, just do that. Just feel it. Just get a feel for the... You get a feel for the fence. It's all about the hands. Now you can just... Do things like that, where you just have a run up and jump on. Do five, ten reps of this. It's like a mini assisted muscle up. Good for developing tendon strength in your shoulders and elbows. That's how you progress. And then you can do the full on jump over. Put your leg up. Do this 20 times, good workout as well. And then you can hop over the fence. And that's what it takes a bit of skill to do. Low battery. Out the dog. <laughs> in my line of work, I get chased by cops all the time. So go learn how to fucking jump fences. <laughs> a fence jump is definitely a skill you need to learn because you never know when that can help you in life. You could be getting chased by a dog or a person, or you should be trying to help someone or whatever. You've got to learn how to jump fences. It's a basic human skill. So practice, practice, practice. Don't try and jump too much too soon. Don't fuck your knees up, but just learn the basics. Progress, have it as a, a goal over the next few months. Don't try and jump a fence in one day, but just gradually increase percentage-wise every week, just a few percent each week, and then that's how you minimize injury and maximize gains on the fence. Okay. I'm just an emotional eater. Can't stop eating fruit. I'm just like out of control. There's a bit of mulberry tree here, mulberry garden. You'd think I'd just be happy and content with just having a handful of berries, but don't, I'm not. Don't be greedy. I'm just an emotional eater. Just can't, can't stop. I've been eating here for the last four minutes. Who in their right mind eats berries for four minutes straight? I'm gonna binge eater. I'm gonna go up high. I'm gonna lose my neck. Down these crates. Show the crates, man. Show how, show how ruthless I am. I'm a fucking fruit toast addict, man. I'm climbing up with the birds. And the mozzies. Just, just to get a fructose fix, because I'm a fructose addict, man. I'm out of control. Come on, pigs. Hey, before the line, Holly. Before the line. Come on. Not many in front of you. <laughs> Keep pushing, Harley. Come on. Doing well. You're doing well. Come on. Keep going. Good position. Hold well on, Sam. Yeah. Go, go. Oh, no. Well, you could walk the rest of the way. You'll still win. You work nice. Yeah.
Good one. Keep yeah, going. Well no one in their right mind should eat more than a banana a day. If you're really active, maybe two bananas a day. What do you think, Freely? How many bananas? As many as you fucking want. Do you know Just why? Because we don't give a fuck. Because we're ruthless, fructose, fruitarian, vegans. We don't give a fuck. All about the high. We're all about getting off our doll on fructose. Got a question again. Drew Ryder. Is sugar a drug? Sugar is a drug. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Look at this stuff. This could be heroin, couldn't it? It could be opium. It could be base crack. <sighs> Straight up drugs. Sugar is a drug. It's a myth that every cell in the human body runs on sugar. That's a myth. Sugar is something you want to get rid of in your diet. From fruit, from this shit, sugar is bad. No cell in the human body runs on sugar. That's a myth. I'm a sugar addict. Get that shit right up there. Put it in the sinuses. This stuff here, I'll show you what this is. You got a sugar craving, don't eat fruit. Don't put sugar on your oats or whatever. Eat some fucking raw chocolate. This hasn't got any sugar in it. I mean, it's, it's got lacuma and uh, agave, but that's not sugar. Sugar's different. This shit's got almost in there. This is fueled by almost. Not sugar. It even says we, uh, we use organic raw agave syrup, a natural low GI sweetener, instead of using sugar to create this delicious chocolate bar. So there's go. There's no sugar in here. And when you see it, when it says sugars in the back, it says. 24 grams of sugars per 100 grams. That's a misprint. There's no sugars in processed chocolate. So sugar is something you want to get rid of your diet. Because sugar's a drug, people. Chocolate, that's not a drug. This human body runs on theobromine and caffeine. You don't need sugar in your diet. The body doesn't run on sugar. When they test your blood sugar levels, they're meant to say blood cocaine levels. But they want to save a bit of ink. On the, on the blood test, so just we do with sugars, it's like five letters. Cocaine's a little bit of stigma. But anyway, I'm digressing. Sugar is a drug. Do you know what I'm really? A fucking sugar addicts. Fructose fiends. Sugar is the same as doing eckies, wangers, trips, bongs, pills, pillin, smack, charlie, acid, angel dust. It's the same as fucking doing sugar. Straight up. Legit. Can you dig it?